Okay, we're going to move on to the big one here. We've got uh, the men's 200 backstroke, and we've got two of the goats. So listen, I want to talk race strategy real quick. Uh, Lenny, what was your race strategy? Well, I mean, obviously the race strategy is, you know, you want to make sure you don't overswim it, especially the first 50, stay light, light on the legs. I think that's really the key to, to 200 backstroke is – Try try to obviously have the tempo pace, but uh, being easy on the legs, I think that's really important. Um, it usually, for me personally, I, I wanted to be out, but where I really looked to take over the races was right around 125 is when, when I kind of put it into the next gear and, um, you know, try to bring it home. Mm. Try to bring it home. By that stage, you were three bottle links ahead, Lenny. And it was not, over. <laughs> not all the time. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Aaron has always given me a good run. I'm actually, as I'm talking about this, uh, Aaron, I don't remember if, uh, if you recall a uh, Janet Evans invite in 2000, like a month before the trials. It was the first time you beat me. <laughs> and I went out like crazy. And uh, actually, I, I think I was out like, one, I don't remember. I think it might have been like out on 120, 127. At that time, it was pretty right. good. And then my right. last, my last fifty was like thirty-two high. And I would usually, my usually, my last fifties would be around twenty-nine mid, twenty-nine high. And I was thirty-two high. I basically stopped like the last fifteen meters. I stopped in the middle of the race. Aaron just passed me. <laughs> <laughs> so smoothly. Uh, no, but dude, but um, thank you for backing off for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't by choice. 